In today's video, I will show the way to model diaphragms in concrete girder bridges using OpenBridge Designer. Before going into the video, I will show some diaphragms that we can find in a typical concrete girder bridges uh, and that we can model using the OpenBridge Designer. Here we can see this is a diaphragm that is very close to the garter end and here we can see um, we can we can provide diaphragm intermittent in mid spans here we can see diaphragm which is um, diagonal in nature and a diaphragm from a uh, bridge site this is a concrete girder bridge with four spans it has two abutments and three support lines its support lines has three piers we can see the bridge has four girders which are concretes so what we will do we will create diaphragms at supports and also we'll show how to create diaphragms intermittently in between supports in the mid spans and also i'll show how to create the diaphragms with an skew to model the diaphragms we need to come into the home tab under that in the superstructure we have the place diaphragms. So if we click that, then it comes up select beam group. So we need to select the beam group and then accept by left clicking. So the diaphragm window comes up. Here we can see support line one to support line two. That means span one, span two, Span 3 and Span 4. In here, we need to make a couple of simple inputs for um, diaphragm modeling. If we look towards a station, uh, for example, from support line 1 towards support line 2, we can see this section. So here we can see a start beam, beam L. So from a station one to a station two, this is the beam L. And then we have beam R, which is the rightmost beam here. And then we have here thickness by default 0.30 which is in meter. So we can provide the thickness of the diaphragm here. And then we have beam offsets, uh, which is a start beam offsets. This is for the left beam and then end beam offset, which is for the right beam. And we have three offsets, which is top vertical, bottom vertical and horizontal. The graphic shows here the diaphragm offsets. So we can see the top vertical, which is positive when the diaphragm goes above the beam. And this is the bottom vertical offset, which is negative when it goes below the beam and we have the third one which is the horizontal offset which is from the center line of the right beam to the end of the diaphragm and this is positive when we look up a station that means say from station one to station two. So that means if we have the diaphragm here, 
which is on the left that would be negative and we have here the angle which is the skew angle of the diaphragm we want to model now we'll create a diaphragm uh, near the support line one uh, i have created a dynamic section here so that i we can see the diaphragm in an elevation so we come here um, let's say our diaphragm thickness will be 0.3 meter which is okay uh, then top vertical let's say we want our diaphragm uh, 300 below the top of the beam so i'll provide minus 300 and for this one um, let's say we want the diaphragm 200 above the bottom of the beam so we'll provide here plus 200 And for the right beam, which is the end beam, we want the same thing. So we'll provide minus 300 and plus 200. We don't want the diaphragm to extend beyond our edge beams. So we don't need to put anything on the horizontal offset and here is the mode where we want the diaphragm so we can put like three ways at support line ratio by span or by station so what it means for support line because we have we are at support line one so from support line one at what distance we want so let's say we want at a distance of 0.5 meter and then i'll put add and then i'll validate we'll see we can see the diaphragms have been appeared here we can see that is 200 from there and it is 300 from there and 200 above the bottom we can see here as well now we'll model some diaphragms in between support lines for example for within a span 2 so we'll go to support line 2 to 3 let's say our thickness is 0.2 meter and top vertical we'll put like minus 300 uh, bottom vertical 200 from from bottom um, for this one we put some horizontal offsets and let's see 200 from the edge and then top vertical again minus 300 bottom vertical 200 horizontal is 200 and this one we want from here within these support lines let's say we say support line and then this is support line two this is support line three let's say first one we want at 0.5 meter from the support line two then the second one we want at five meter from support line two so five meter 
at support line 2 and then the third one we want at 10 meter at 15 meter from the support line 2 so 15 meter from support line 2 then we can add this so it does automatically added all those three of them so we can add validate save we can see here three diaphragms have been created and we also can see there is a part of diaphragm which is beyond the edge beam so we can see that one we can see here now we will model a diaphragm which is parallel to the support line 3 which uh, is at a skew of 10 degree so um, we want the same configuration like thickness and the offsets like the other other ones we have so we just need to put the skew 10 degree and also we want this diaphragm to be at uh, 0.5 meter from this support line but parallel so what we're gonna do we're gonna put support line and we know this is support line 3 so we are at support line 3 but here we can see we are in span 2 which is this span so this span at support line 3 so we need to put minus 0.5 meter then we add so we can see here the diaphragm has been placed parallel to the support line and we can see here as well